All right, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to look at Kenny Pickett's pocket presence. Uh, one of the things I heard a lot of in the national media uh, during the pre-draft and the uh, even after the draft about Kenny Pickett was, oh, he has happy feet. Um, I watched a lot of his college tape, and that's not something I saw. I saw good pocket presence. So let's start with a play here, first and 10 against Duke. We've got Addison doing a nice job on this crossing route. Um, getting behind the zone here. Pickett knows it's going to take some time. He's got his eyes downfield. It's uh, about a seven-step drop. He feels some pressure to the right and just slowly drifts. You know, that's good footwork here. Um, squares his shoulders to the target. You know, Pitt does a nice job on this four-man rush. And a dot to Addison. Okay, here's another play, second and ten. Um, it's funny to me that um, you know, happy feet versus pocket presence, depending on an analyst bias. So, you know, somebody who's going to come into the process of tape watching thinking, oh, well, Kenny Pickett has small hands and I heard everybody else bash him. So I'm going to watch this play. Oh, look, he's rolling out. He has happy feet. He can't stay in the pocket. Well, there's a reason for that. This defensive end is one-on-one. -on -one. He completely whips the right tackle. He's coming, crashing inside. Pickett's here the whole time, looking downfield, centered in the pocket, and he's got the peripheral vision to feel that pressure and roll out. So that makes 100% sense. Happy feet would be if, for no reason, he looks down and starts uh, feeling the pressure, not wearing, knowing where he's going. This whole time, he's looking downfield. He sees it right away. He knows he's got you know, a man out by the sideline and throws a great ball on the run. Okay, here we'll take a look at a play where Pickett gets blitzed. We got two extra linebackers bearing down. Pickett stands in, uh, quickly identifies the one-on-one -on -one and makes a good throw. Picks up the first down on third down. Again, pretty good job on pass protection here. Tight end goes out into a route, running back, steps up to pick one linebacker up, but you know we still have the second linebacker uh, coming in. Pickett hangs in there and even gets the ball out before anybody can get home. So this is not my definition of happy feet. This is my definition of, you know, hanging in the pocket, making a good throw on third down to pick up the first. Okay, here's another example of Pickett doing a good job against the blitz. We can see linebackers blitzing up the middle. We've got one-on-one -on -one matchups across the O-line. Um, you know, pretty good coverage. We got man coverage here. Um, you know, linebacker on this running back. And Pickett senses the space he has here rather than try to force a throw to any of these covered defenders. You know, I like to say that running is part of your progression. So a quarterback, you know, it might be your third progression. It might be one to two, high to low to run because it just makes sense for the play. And that's what Pickett does here. Even as he's coming up, he's still looking downfield. He's using his blocker and Eventually, he finds a space and uh, shows some surprising mobility to people who don't really know about Pickett. So again, the whole time he's got, you know, eyes downfield as he's, you know, drifting in the pocket, drifting a little left, drifting up, making sure he's in good spot. Coming up, identifies this D lineman covering that hole, has the athletic ability. He's still looking downfield. So this is not what is meant by happy feet. Still looking, sees the space and says, okay, I'm gonna commit now, boom. I know that because these defenders are playing man, um, you know, there's gonna be a lot of room to pick up the first down. All right, here we've got another play where Pickett does a great job of just hanging in the pocket and making a good throw. So if he had happy feet, I don't think he would be able to stand in this pocket, which is holding up but, you know, definitely not ideal, and stands in, throws a dot. 
Um, Four-man rush. You know, this tackle struggled a little bit throughout the game. And Pickett hangs in there, throws a nice, nice ball. So, you know, again, not really sure where this myth of happy feet is coming from. Uh, Pickett seems to do a good job of sensing pressure, running when appropriate, hanging in when he needs to. All right, here's another great example where, you know, some people might confuse happy feet with pocket presence. Um, you know, Pickett is going to step up here into some space and pick up a first down. Really great read. Let's break it down a little bit. So, you know, we can see Pickett looking downfield. Um, he's immediately looking for Addison, it looks like. But uh, this uh, corner is playing in that... Um, you know, five yard flat area, so that's not open. The check down is probably to the running back who, you know, is not required to pick up any blitz. Um, but if you'll notice, um, Kenny Pickett n sees a nice big running lane before the running back gets his head around and just decides to take it. So the running back's only getting his head around now. You know, Pickett is already out of there. No need to sit and wait uh, like a sitting duck. Um, and he knows that he's got room here. Again, Addison's not open with what Pickett originally wants. The running back's head is not around. He's got all this space in front of him. Makes a good decision. Boom. Sees it. Hits it. And now, you know, um, he's got some green to work with. This corner has to respect Addison still because we've seen Pickett roll to his right and make good throws. Um, but in this case, Pickett says, I've got the first down. We'll take a look at it from the end zone cam. So, you know, Duke's running a little stunt here. We've got plenty of defenders dropping back. Addison's covered. This tight end looks like nothing's coming open. Again, um, look at all this space for Pickett to go. The running back still had, doesn't have his head around. Pickett's taking off. Let's take a look at a play that didn't work out great. Second and three. Um, you know, we've got a little play action from the shotgun. This play designed for Pickett to kind of drift back right. We've got this extra lineman here anticipating. So we're moving the pocket a little bit. Something that's really nice to be able to do with mobile quarterbacks. You know, maybe they're setting up a deep shot. Um, only three in the route. Um, and... You know, none of those deep options are there. So, again, nothing's always going to be ideal in football. There's going to be play designs that the defense does a good job of uh, covering up. Pickett does have the option here to try to maybe, you know, roll out to the left. But, you know, that would be the definition of happy feet. You know, as he's stepping up, he sees this linebacker and he tries to sneak out here. Just so it turns out this defender makes a good play. So, you know, n not always going to be ideal, but I wanted to show this play that, you know, if there was happy feet, he might start running around back here, being at risk of, uh, you know, taking a sack for 10 yards on a second and three, putting you in a bad position. Instead, you know, he's trying to make a play. He's trying to find that lane. It looks like it's man coverage. So if he can get out, um, he can pick up the first down. Just so happens he can't. But, you know, he gets hit uh, back here at the 28. He's able to fight forward, uh, you know, setting up a third and manageable. Okay, after going through Pickett's tape, I thought it would be kind of fun just for some context to look at some NFL quarterbacks college tapes where maybe they were less than perfect and we didn't hear anything about happy feet. So this is Patrick Mahomes um, playing against Texas in 2015. Uh, you can see here his line does a pretty good job of picking up a blitz. Uh, there's a pretty clean pocket. Running back meets the tackle for a sound assignment. You know, Mahomes has a pretty clean pocket. It's third and goal, so he's, you know, doing Mahomes things, probably trying to look for, um, you know, a touchdown. And uh, But rather than standing in there, he decides to escape, you know, what some might call happy feet. He does have a tight end or H back here that he could try to get the ball to to make a play. Instead, he just kind of goes hunting, doesn't find anything, circles back, and gets, uh, you know, taken down for the sack. Okay, here's an example of Justin Herbert in college. 
Uh, he's getting blitzed. He shows happy feet by bailing when he actually has plenty of room over to the right. Instead, he steps into uh, the rush for some reason and ends up, you know, almost having a disastrous play. So, you know, as of now, his eyes are downfield, but at this point, he's dropped his head. Um, and rather than, you know, feeling the pressure here and rolling out to the right where he's got good blocking, he somehow drifts back and left um, and almost, you know, either gets sacked or um, potentially fumbles even. Okay, here's an example of everyone's favorite Josh Allen in his college uh, final bowl game uh, displaying what, you know, these same analysts could call happy feet that they assigned to Kenny Pickett. So, you know, uh, decently clean pocket. You know, Allen doesn't see anything right away, but he puts his head down. He's not looking downfield, and he starts to, you know, panic a little bit in the pocket. You know, he's a great athlete, so he gets out, <laughs> but ends up getting uh, hit by the turf monster. But just, you know, notice he's already looking down, um, you know, that's my definition of happy feet. So, um, you know, I know Allen didn't get rave reviews coming out of, uh, out of the college game in general, um, but it's an example of when analysts <laughs> all get group think and, uh, you know, can't actually see um, what's actually in front of them. So... Um, yeah, just showing examples of situations in, where other quarterbacks in college, you know, um, get happy feet. So three step, step drop and he's already looking to bail. Here's another example where everybody's golden boy, Joe Burrow, doesn't do a great job with um, his uh, game management third and long. You know, Alabama does a great job of, uh, you know, right tackle beats his man inside. You know, Burrow drifts right, you know, which is fine, as he should. You know, he's not going to sit in there. He's going to try to make a play. But here, you know, you got nothing open. Why are you not throwing the ball away? You know, what are you going to do here? And he just makes that field goal a little bit longer for his kicker. Not the end of the world, but... You know, if we're going to praise Joe Burrow and act like he, you know, has the best pocket presence of all time, but Kenny Pickett has happy feet, like, you know, I'm just confused by what analysts are, you know, what standard analysts are holding Kenny Pickett to when, you know, these kinds of things happen um, and, you know, quarterbacks deal with it. Here, I would say Burrow didn't deal with it ideally. So it is what it is. All right, that's all we got for today. Thank you so much for watching. I really do enjoy making these videos and sharing my observations with you guys. If you like the videos, do me a huge favor and like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Thanks, bye.